Hello, my name's Kevin Large and I'd like to welcome you to the third in a series of IoT Security Raspberry Pi Emulation Lab Videos. This lab video is Lab 4.2.2.6 Packet Crafting to Exploit Unsecured Ports and this lab follows on directly from Lab 4.2.2.5 Port Scanning an IoT Device in fact, we'll make use of exactly the same topology with the Kali Linux VM, VirtualBox host only network adapter connecting to the Windows Bridge. We'll also make use of Node 3 connecting to the Windows Bridge through the VME3 tap adapter. The Kali Linux VM is already started up, has the DHCP service activated and has given an IP address to node 3. On node 3 you will notice that we have an IP address of 203.0.113.28 and of course this was handed out by the ISC DHCP server running on the Kali Linux machine. So we can actually see the request with the IP address of .28 going to the network device with a MAC address of 00150011101013 and a host name of Kumu RPI3. Okay, so we actually have connectivity now between the emulated Raspberry Pi and the Kali Linux machine. This lab, lab 4.2.2.6, is also a relatively straightforward lab. There shouldn't really be anything that catches you out with this lab. Um, what I'm going to do is we'll just run through a little bit of it. Um, I'll do a control L to clear the screen. Um, we're going to actually make use of HPing3 now for port scanning. So we can do a man of HPing3. Wonderful piece of software. We can send almost arbitrarily uh, TCP IP packets to network hosts. It can be used for all kinds of purposes. You can see a list there. Test, firewall rules, advanced port scanning, network performance using different protocols, path MTU, uh, it's, uh, maximum transmission unit discovery, uh, firewall-like usage, remote operating system fingerprinting, absolutely remarkable piece of software and we'll have a little look and we'll see how that works. Okay I'm just gonna hit the space bar just to pop down the screen a little bit we can see various base options, protocol selection, you can go back up the screen by hitting U or just use the page up and page down buttons and of course Q will quit I'll hit Control L to clear the screen. Um, what we're going to do first of all though is before we start using HPing3 we'll open up another tab in our terminal with Control Shift T and we'll run Wireshark again with a space ampersand in order to run it in the background. You do need to run Wireshark as the root user uh, however uh, when you're going to Kali, you're the root user anyway. Who am I? You're the root user. Okay, and so Wireshark is up and running now. Uh, we need to apply a display filter to this. You can see there's some network activity on Ethernet 0 already. In fact, a little bit too much activity. So what we'll do now is we'll apply a display filter, precisely as we did in the previous video. 4225. Okay, so we'll just apply that filter. And you can see that's really brought the traffic down considerably. Just going to do a very quick check. I'm just going to send a quick ping across to just send one packet, I think, our Kali Linux machine on 203.0.113.1. Boom, boom. Yep. That's fine, so we are listening to 
correct interface, the display filter is doing its job properly. I'll do a control L to clear the screen, screen on their Kumu emulated Raspberry Pi. And then we'll go back into the terminal window and we'll see what we can do with HPing. I'll switch to the other tab and let's see what we can do with the HPing 3 program. OK, I'm not going to actually mention what these options do because, of course, that's part of the lab. That's for you to find out. But let's run the HPing. And boy, that was fast, wasn't it? A lot faster than Nmap, to be fair. And we can see that we've got uh, ports uh, 21, 22, 23 and 80, all on TCP. Listening, we can see the TTLs here, 64, 64, 64, 64. Again, indicating a Linux system is being scanned. Wow. How cool is that? And again, we can pick up uh, scanning information from Nmap. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting stuff. Okay. So, if anything, this is an even more straightforward lab than the previous one. I'll just close Wireshark and we'll come out of the terminal and we're back to Kali again. Okay, so nice, simple, straightforward lab. Uh, very useful piece of software, HPing 3. Um, the flood is uh, a wonderful way of doing a denial of service attack, effectively speaking, especially if you can do it from multiple systems. Um, I won't actually do that for the moment, I'll let you explore that one, but you shouldn't really have too many issues, in fact you shouldn't really have any issues with this lab, it's a nice straightforward lab. So thanks again for joining me, and please join me for the next IoT Security Raspberry Pi Emulation lab video.